Okay, so we've got the defense has a total of 500 planks. So it takes 500 planks of wood to construct a fence. And Sally can paint in planks each day. We don't know how many that is. Maybe it's one, maybe it's two, maybe it's three. Maybe it's not even a whole number, you know, maybe it's one and a half. And we want to write an algebraic expression for how many days it will take Sally to paint the fence. Okay, well, usually, you know, for something like this, I'm thinking, well, is it addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? And the idea is, she's doing, uh, she's got 500 total. We want to figure out, again, how many days. If, if, if she can do n per day, well, in that case, uh, you know, and sometimes what I even like to do, if I'm totally unsure, is pick a number, you know. Suppose uh, she could do, she could paint, Suppose she can paint 250 planks per day. Well, if she can do 250 per day, if there's, five, if there's 500 planks total, well, clearly that would take two days. Well, if you take 500 and 250, you know, what would you need to do to get, you know, to somehow relate 500 and 250 and get the number two? Well, I think if we took 500, and divided it by 250, in that case, we would get the number of days. Okay, so a lot of times I like to plug in whole number, you know, specific numbers to get a feel for what's going on. Well, okay, so instead of using 250, that was a very specific number, if she paints n planks per day, we would just do the same thing. We take 500 and divide it by n, and that would give us our expression um, that would that would help us compute how many days it would take Sally to paint the fence.